When men stop simping. Well, what you doing after this? You, you want to come to my house? No, I'm good. All right. What is going on guys, Shy Clips here once again. And in this video, we're gonna be checking out some wild clips of men who finally stopped simping. In this first clip, we have these two girls who approach these guys on their motorcycle. They were begging them for a ride until they did this. We just pulled up to the mall and this happened. Now, as you guys can hear, they're pretty much calling them insecure and that they have no girlfriends. But little do they know the guys are just not interested in them. And I guess they're having a hard time realizing that, but just keep watching. Guess nobody wanted to give her a ride. And this next one, this girl definitely got put in her place. I don't know why women think this is perfectly fine to say. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, guys. Having a preference for height is the same thing as being interested in body weight. Some girls like tall guys, and some guys like skinnier girls. Justin! Oh my god! No, I guess some people just do not realize that even guys like Justin Bieber don't like to be filmed. This probably happens too much to him, but thankfully in the next clip, he definitely puts all these girls in their place. He's at his house. He said no. At his home. In this last clip, we have this girl who's basically talking about how she was rejected on her first date. Apparently, something went horribly wrong, and she found out the guy was not interested in her. But let's first watch the clip and see what happened. This is what I am done with the dating life, and why I've come to the conclusion that I'm actually not that attractive to the male species or female species because it just seems that no one can actually be bothered with me. So I went on a date with this guy a little while ago, and it was going so so well. I really really liked it. And then after the day, like, we're still talking and everything, and all of a sudden he just starts to, like, air me and stuff. And I just don't really know what I'd done wrong, because it was going so, so well, like, we were still talking after the day, like, we was arranging to meet again. And then I saw yesterday, I saw yesterday, him posting pictures of another girl on his story, like, kissing her in her bed and everything. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Just why? Why? Like, am I not good enough? To be honest, I don't think it's not that she's not good enough, but she was probably just a side piece in the entire relationship, and this guy definitely has somebody else. I still really do feel bad for her. What the guy did was not right at all. Did you take a bullet to me? No. <laughs> I feel so bad. She said I, I wish. Before everybody bugs out, that was actually his ex. So if you guys ask yourselves that question, would you take a bullet for your ex? I'm pretty sure everybody would say no. In this next clip, this girl dives deep on her happy marriage and why she got married. Apparently, she really simplified the process for all women, and I really do think a lot of women should listen to this. Some simple changes can change your entire life, and as you guys can see, this woman is very happy in her marriage. Just check out this clip. Okay, hey, Ali, show me your ring. Oh, here. Now, tell me what you do for a living. Oh, I love my husband. <laughs> and how did you how did you get that awesome job? Well, I became a better human being and i became feminine and also shocking submissive so that was the secret so what are your tips to women that want to be a housewife to embrace it it's an actual job you just can't get it in the public or private sector like you need you need a man to hire you for it but that's okay because if you think about it you submit to your boss who makes you clean stupid shelves at your retail job, right? Like, wouldn't it be better if you were cleaning your own shelves at home? You know what I mean? And your, and your boss wants to sleep with you in a good way. In a good way. <laughs> and where, where do you meet these men? Well, I think women should work for the men that they want to pursue. I know that sounds crazy, but it's really easy. So if you think about it, like you want a lawyer, right? So then you should be a paralegal. Or if you want a dentist, then you should be a dental hygienist. But these are considered, I guess, high high value status prof professions. But I think that's a really good model that not enough women utilize. Because women will bully the woman who is the secretary that married the doctor, okay? But who has the last laugh? 
like her in her McMansion with her husband who's <laughs> hot and the baby. Like that's that's who has last laugh. So after that clip was released, this girl got a lot of backlash from like the woman community saying her perspectives on life was not correct and what she's doing with her life is not the right thing to do, especially as a woman. But once again, she combats that answer with this video. Ali, how do you feel about the women that are saying this is heartbreakingly sad? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I get my back blown out regularly. I am fully paid for survival. I have my own autonomy. Uh, I also do my own work. So like, I just don't see what's wrong with my situation, but they can ask themselves why they're single if they want. <laughs> in this next clip, this woman tries her posing to her boyfriend in front of her entire family, except this man decides to take another woman with him instead. This was a family's reaction. <laughs> Now the crazy part is guys, a lot of women actually don't understand that the man gets to choose who they marry. So even if you do propose first, it doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna say yes, because hey, that's the only thing they can actually control and that's who they marry. Even though what he did was not right at all. Everything I possibly and I, can. You're not doing anything. Go but... yourself. Okay, that's you're great. You're a terrible person. Okay, that's great. That's, that's, like, that's genuinely, nice. I actually hate you. You won, I'm leaving. I'm doing everything yeah, I possibly can to leave. Yeah, I, I'm a terrible person because I let you in here. You wouldn't you, have you wouldn't honestly, have had a place to stay if I didn't like honestly, you. Honestly, I wish I was still homeless. Okay, that's well, that's fine. That's your prerogative. I genuinely wish I was still homeless. I wish I didn't have to experience this. I wish I didn't have to meet any of you. Yeah, I, we came in with open arms. We fed you. We've helped you. We bought you a bed. I don't. Given you a room to stay. I didn't ask now this ladies and gentlemen is exactly how you're supposed to act when a woman is screaming at you notice this guy is keeping his composure he's not flipping out he's not screaming at her he's acting completely calm and just letting her scream at the end of the day regardless if you scream or not the decision is still going to be made and this woman is definitely getting kicked out of the house before i start this all the empty pocket boys that want to come here and humble me go and get some money girls don't you really hate i see what she did there and she's sick for it and i'll tell you why because any man who responds to her now they, she's going to use the excuse of oh this is broke oh he ain't got money oh he's hurt She's sick. Because a lot of girls do this because they can't handle criticism. But she's sick. Yeah, I'm not sure what the obsession is over money these days. If you want a guy who's rich, you definitely have to have something to prove. So check out this next clip and you guys let me know your thoughts. So many months of being single, I've decided to have a boyfriend. So if you want to date me, if you want to be your girlfriend, hmm? number one, you must have a big like you. be very fat and long. Number one. Number two, you must be rich. You must have an apartment of your own. And number three, you must be changing my wardrobe every month. Now, to be honest, I hate when people make these kind of videos. They're asking for so much. Basically, a huge house, nice car, financially stable, all these kind of things, where they themselves bring nothing to the table. What can this girl do that this man would actually want to pay for her? Other than look good, I guess? I mean, in 10 years, that's going to fade anyways. And plus, how many guys have she been with in the past? I'm pretty sure this guy wouldn't want to be with that in the first place. You will give me 200000 for upkeep. You must have a car. You must have an investment. You must not cheat. You must not cheat. If I told you not to cheat, eh, use condom. So if you are interested in dating me, come to my DM and show me the proof of those things I'm asking for. In this last clip, this woman tried to bother her husband and basically make him into a simp by doing certain things. And well, this is a reaction. He definitely did not want to deal with it. My ex would take my shirts home to smell them when he sleeps. Why don't you do that with me? I live with you. So? You sleep next to me in a shirt, therefore I've got a shirt in my bed that smells like you, but you next to me at all times. you don't like the smell, though. Well, if you so want. So why can't you be like that? If you want, I can become your ex and we can test it. Did you just break up with me? No, I said if you want, I'll become your ex. And this last clip, this guy was approached and pretty much thoughts on his opinion of girls going to the club. Like a lot of guys who just do not speak up, it's not a thing that they're actually interested in. And well, he gives his opinion. What gives you the ick? For me, like, because I don't really go out clubbing that much. So if a girl like goes clubbing too much, it's like a bit of a red flag. But like every once in a while, it's okay. But if 
you're going out every weekend is a bit it's just not my type in this ask up this ex approaches her boyfriend and asks him a pretty simple question however i'm not sure why she was so surprised why did we break up is that for me to answer or for yeah. you I, if i okay. asked you the question then yeah. stop if you could erase every memory of me would you hell yeah oh. I'm sorry. i definitely would do that would you really within the heart and finally in this clip this woman approaches another man asking his opinion of what he thinks of her for the first time ever i feel like this woman was finally humbled because it's not always about appearance you know okay what's your name uh, Moonlight. Okay, Moonlight. Prove to me that old girls are pretty. <laughs> but they're not. <laughs> what? <laughs> they're not. I'm, I'm looking at you. <laughs> well, that does it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.